definitely critical that we get this data right. From Wayne Otter Cliff Tech. What the project does is it collects topographic data. What we're doing today is part of a peninsular-wide LIDAR collection. The LIDAR stands for light detection and ranging, and what we're doing is using pulses of light emitted from a sensor flown at about 3,000 to 5,000 feet in the air, and it determines the length of time that it takes the pulse of light to be emitted from the sensor, hit something on the ground, and return back to the sensor. My name is Al Carlin. I'm with the Mapping and GIS section of the Data Collection Bureau with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. We're focused in on our 16 county area. Well, the last time we did it here in Florida was in 2007. Since 2007, we've had several hurricanes come through, most recent one being Hurricane Irma. When Hurricane Irma came through, it changed the, the lay of the land. Some areas were scoured out, became lower. Some areas, things were deposited, so they kind of became higher. What we're doing is evaluating the damage. What we're looking at is the LiDAR data, and this is what it looks like after we get it processed from the instruments. So you can see the points on the roof. You can see that there's a, um, a street light right here. To us, it is particularly important. The data form the basis of our watershed management plans. This is where they all start. One of the areas that the district works in is cooperation with FEMA. The end result is transmitted to FEMA as a floodplain. We do get a very, very good estimate degree to which a particular parcel will flood. It is absolutely important that we get this data right. In our district, the difference, uh, a tenth of a foot, may mean the difference of whether or not you're flooded or whether or not you're on dry land. So it's absolutely critical that we get this data right.